Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about three free vector sites that you can use with commercial use for your coloring books. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Now the first site we're at is called Vector Characters. Now Vector Characters have a huge range of different characters you can use, both free as well as paid for. Now if you want to have a look at the terms and conditions here, just to show that these actually can be used for commercial use, let's go over here to the terms of use. We'll click on that and we'll go down here and authorize use. You may, all files downloaded from vectorcharacters.net are free to use in both personal and commercial projects. You can modify any resources to fit your tastes. Example, change colors, shapes, effects. You can share our vector files on your website, whatever your backlinks is required. You may not sell or really, you may not sell, resell, lease, license, sublicense our files. You may not use our files on any photo, pornographic or unlawful purchase, uh, purposes. You may not use our files for any illegal or unauthorized purposes. And that's fair. So you can use them for coloring books if you wish to. And they're perfectly okay to use. Now you have a lot of free ones. Let's have a quick look at this one. This one gives you 10 characters that you can choose from. In cartoon office men graph, graphics and you can have a look at this these are all free men and women and you can just download them down here you go here to download them and it looks like they also give you what looks like an office set as well now one thing I will say about these is that they will give you the characters but they'll also at the bottom of the page ask you to pay for, you know give you some premium ones or show you some premium ones that they'll want you to try and purchase so just be aware of that and because if you do you may need to consider changing them up a bit now if you say for example download something and it's an ai now if you don't know what ai stands for ai stands for adobe illustrator and it means it can be edited in adobe illustrator but if you're like me and don't know how to actually use Adobe Illustrator, then you're better off going with the SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And they can be used in your PowerPoint presentation, much like this one here. As you can see, this is a Scalable Vector Graphic. Now, if I were to go sh hit pl Shift plus Control plus G, what will happen? Is it will actually ungroup it or I can right click and hit ungroup where it says group I can then hit ungroup now sometimes you might need to hit them a couple of times just so as that everything is ungrouped then all you have to do is hit shape you go to shape outline you make sure that it's black and then you then do the insert you know you fill the shape with white or you can have it as no fill either or it will still give you the same effect and then you can go control G control plus G and that allows you to regroup it all together now if you do happen to come across an AI image what I would suggest is you go to this place called cloud convert and that allows you to be able to change from an Adobe Illustrator image to an SVG image which then allows you to be able to manipulate it on your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the next site. Now, the next site we're in is called publicdomainvectors.org. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have a look at various things. Now, you can have a look here and you can type in the word like dog in this particular case. 
and you can come up with the various vector images for dogs. Now as you scroll through you can find ones like this or like this. You can find ones that you can use like this one here. It's already one that you don't even have to manipulate. It is already a cartoon character so you could keep that one as well. You can go through and have a look at the various images. Now they don't have a huge range for dogs but you can have a look at other ones. Let's go people. Let's type in the word people. I keep Miss Keen because of the angle I'm on. All right, let's have a look here. Now I'm going to go here SVG. I'm going to put in here people. And hit enter. And all of these here are public domain. Now the reason why public domain is so good is that it's open for anyone to use. Anyone can use public domain images and you can do whatever you like with them, which is really good. And the thing is you can use them to, there's a lot of different ones here you can use and you can use them for whatever purpose you want. And that's the beautiful part about it. You can change it, you can manipulate it, you can use it for commercial use. And that's the thing with public domain. Public domain is wonderful for that particular reason. So you know that if you have something that's public domain, you're more than able to use it for whatever purpose you want. Okay, for that particular note, let's go check out the next one. Okay, now here we are at Pixabay. Now Pixabay is wonderful when it comes to finding images that are vector because they actually have a specific section for vector. Now, if you were to go, when you start off getting it, you'll most likely end up on a page like this to start with. And you'll be going, okay, so what can I do here? All you need to do here is go to images, scroll down to where it says vector graphics, click on that, and that will bring you to this page here. And once again, these are normally free to use and you can also use them for commercial use. Let's scroll down and find any one of these images. Now I know that this one happens to be an AI, so that would have to be an Adobe Illustrator where you'd have to change it, but let's have a look at the terms and conditions. So as you can see here, free for commercial use, no attribution required. And that is the beautiful part about it, as you can download any one of these images. Make sure you always check the license because having said that, you might find that the graphics on the odd occasion may need either attribution or can't be used for commercial use. So do always make sure you check the license. It's, that's really important. So as you can see, all of these here, there's so many different ones and they go on for ages. And there are several pages of this that you can go down to. So once you go here, you can go next page and you can have a look. There's 11 pages with just dogs. So you can have plenty of images that you can use for using let's have a look at this particular one if you wanted to have something simple you can have a look at that one and if you want to find out whether it's an svg or an ai all you have to do is click on download and as you see it's got vector graphics you click on that one and in this particular case it happens to be svg now i didn't know whether this one was going to be svg or ai because i've not clicked on this one before it's called fido and good old fido and you can then download that and use that, but it, you need to check. Free for commercial use, no attribution required. How good is that? Now, Pixabay is usually really good for that. And as you look through, you can have a look at this and same thing. Go down, check out the free download, SVG. You click on that and you can download it as an SVG file. And that then becomes a scalable vector graphic. So yeah, you can use these for your coloring books and that's the wonderful part about it. So as I said, if you do happen to stumble upon one which is AI, where I will go back to finding one which is, let's scroll back here. We'll go back down to where the AI one is. This one here is the AI, go over here. And as you can see, this one here is Adobe Illustrator. And then you can go over here, AI to SVG, and you can convert that across to an SVG. 
so as you can convert it across to one of these images. Okay guys, that's all there is for this particular video. If you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these three sites. And if you know of any other free vector graphic sites, I'd love to know. All right, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.